Welcome guys to a very special video. So a few of you have wanted us to do this, we thought it was a great idea. Um, it's an Outer Bounds special. So what we've decided to do is pick some of the best Outer Bounds products that we've had up to date with the end of season two and put them in for nine holes to see how we play. So every single club that I'm going to be using for nine holes is strange and unusual. <laughs> Did you see that fly? Oh, I can't wait to see this. I hate that wedge so much. Hello? This is, this is honestly awful. Oh my lord, that's made it. <sighs> I can't get over that. <laughs> I was a bit too excited about that. I was looking at what's he playing for? You have no idea. Right, so I'll uh, get the bag out to show you. State of the art. Yeah. Um, clubs wise. So a few of these, we'll go through them as I'm hitting them as well, but just a quick intro. Doesn't need an intro. Hammer X. We know what that is. Boom! Um, very, very nice. Hollow point bullet driver. Did enjoy that, very low spinning. We've of course, got the transparent, we can see straight through this, glass driver. Hammer X hybrid. That you shouldn't be seeing yet. We'll get to that shortly. Stinger two iron, another season favorite. We've got the unbelievable We've got four irons of these, but the vast irons, hideous, yet historic. I don't know if it's worthy of an intro. <laughs> and this as well. Reminds me of Robbo, want to throw it. So, right, that's everything. Um, I'm excited about this. We had a 13 hour stream. I'm going to mention this a few times during the nine holes, I'm sure, but uh, yeah, I don't think I'm up to editing, so I've handed the reins over to Tommy. So Tommy's telling me what to do for this. If you don't enjoy it, hashtag Tommy's fault. Tommy's fault. I'm just too tired, so I'm just I'm just here to hit balls, really. Try. <laughs> right then. Hole one. Take the sunglasses off. Can't be can't be seen with sunglasses holding this. <laughs> Slinger, two iron for safety. Hole one. At Dune Up Resort, we're playing the quarry. 369 metres par four. Um, yeah, it could be interesting this. I feel like we just need to get away. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those. Um, dog legs to the left, don't really need the driver, so. That's to the right, but it'll be okay, I think. The T-shirt, I mean, we're not even warmed up, but um, at least I made contact with the two iron. <laughs> we went right, wind is going this direction, I'm not making excuses up, but it makes this a long hole. So we've got 213 yards into now. I'm gonna have to have that two iron again. <laughs> Slog fest. Back out again. I forgot how bizarre this looks at a dress. That terrace chocolate orange, I think I called it, didn't I? The segment. I had a few of those in the 13 hour stream last night. Starting to feel it. Terry's coming back to bite me. Right, wish his luck, guys. <laughs> Did you hear that? I think that's reached. I feel really, I'm quite surprised about that. It was all over the left side of the green. We'll go and see, come on. Man, that flew out well. So this one, we've never actually done a review on, but it's definitely an out-of-bounds golf club. Tour standard. Love it golf, love it, love it, love it golf company. 
So I assume this is one of those where you basically put on a put putting stroke and it just chips it for you. And there's more bounce on this than, well, a bouncy club. You have got to be joking me. See the spin on that? How has that produced that much spin? Did we, have we got a putter? Right, so I do have a putter. It's clear if you look at the playlist, we've never done an out of bounds putter video, but I do have one. And it's been sat at my desk, I think for maybe, it's probably more than six months actually. Um, some kind viewer centers it across from the UK. Uh, we can still do it, we can still do a review on it, but I've got to read this letter that he sent me first before we actually use the putter. Bloody hell, it's taped up well. Bloody hell, proper. Right, so I'm not going to say full name John, but John sent us this. John's actually from Nottingham, where I'm from as well, so it was lovely they got in contact to send us this over. Um, the surprise is though, this letter. Dear Alex, please find enclosed in the box a surprise. Hopefully a pleasant, if not hilarious surprise. Number one, open carefully from one end. Uh, sorry, John. Number two, carefully remove bubble wrap. I did that as well. It's now a golf bag, John. Your box is now the Out of Bounds official golf bag, limited edition. Carefully remove club, we can do that now. Try not to read the writing on the shaft. There's no way you're not going to do that now. Number six, remove head cover. Go on, admit it, you're going to read the writing on the shaft. In hindsight, I should have covered it before sealing the box. John, you're a legend for even going through all that. But you want to see what this is? Yep, the hammer is everywhere. John has sent us the hammer putter. With a black widow grip on it, to be fair. Gone for the upgrade. Right. So this, the hammer putter is gonna be used for the par. Thanks, John. Never putted with this yet. Sorry it's taken so long, John. What the? Okay. Okay. Did I tell you I did a 13 hour stream? Okay, just so you know. Quarry, number two, 370 meters. Normally, we won't be able to drive it, but, actually, it's like I stuffed a dead body in there, look. <laughs> yeah! It's a bit warm for this, but I can't see a damn thing either. Right, you gotta, this, this thing, obviously, we need to wait for the green to clear. Best part of 400 yards, so we're gonna have to wait. <laughs> Did you see that? That wasn't that bad. The flight was terrible, it had like 5,000 RPM, but it went bullet straight. It went hammer straight, should I say. Right, do you want to know what this is? This is, as seen in previous videos, one with Robbo. Um, <laughs> the Texas Square Shooter Wedge. It's been to Abu Dhabi, it's been to the US. I think this is the most, well, did the hammer driver came as well? It's one of the most traveled out of bounds items. Straight off a George Foreman grill. Graphite shaft as well, obviously. 
We're just going to get that, this up here, Tommy, but this is like, there's no bounce on this. This is the opposite of that love it wedge thing. And I'm in a divot. Do you want to come and show everyone so I'm not lying? Luckily, I've got the equivalent of a JCB golf club. <laughs> yeah. That could be good all long. Okay, that's, that's got to be long. How long is the question? Can't see it, which is the worrying part. Oh no. We're in all sorts of trouble here. It's a good job I've got the Love It wedge. That didn't need much more. This is not the club for the rough. <laughs> oh! Easy, 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 easy. Disastrous start. This to save bogey. John! What is this? <laughs> Doesn't matter what putter I've got, to be honest. <laughs> oh, lovely. Enjoyed that. That was great. So, 123 meters from here, I've got a pitching wedge, arguably the ugliest one in the world. One thing's for sure, we're probably not going to shank it. So I thought I was being sensible. I've put sun cream on, you know, don't want to get burnt out here like I always do. Fortunately, this grip is non-existent. So there's a good chance this club's going to end up in the quarry down there. It's on. That's all I can really say about that. Ugh. We need some birdies now. This is not uh, the best opportunity that we've got. I reckon that's quite fast, you know. Hammer fast. <laughs> it's when you used to put, when you used to practice with your putter sideways. That's what it feels like. I thought that was going to come right to left, but it didn't. <sighs> John. <laughs> Got one. Got him. Thanks, John. Thanks. Okay, you might recognise this one. Par five. Brenda. Could she's she's pretty excited with this amount. We could be visiting today, maybe. Uh, it goes left around these trees and then it goes up around the quarry to the right. So it's it'll be playing pretty long today, especially with how high this thing goes. Um, but just make sure you're holding on to that camera because the vortex will suck you in. What's that? You need some power? All right, we're going. Bloody hell. I think it's okay, but it's, it's right. I don't think we're ready for this, are we? Three hybrid. Um, oh, it's all right, actually. It's okay. We're just on the bank. I'm just hoping to get this over. It's going to be a big hit today to get it over that mound. I'm going to aim for the dude in the car and fade it. <laughs> fade it with this. He ain't a laugh. This is, this is honestly awful. Oh my lord, that's made it. 
So I, I ended up going a lot further right than what I intended, and it's carried it. Did not expect that into that wind, but there you go. <laughs> we've actually got a chance here for getting one back. Problem is we've got the crappy square wedge. <sighs> you get really excited, and then you realise you've got to play your next two shots with a waffle on a stick and a hammer, literally. Okay, so it's mid, right in the middle. This needs to go close, really, with a waffle. Oh, it's gonna go with a slope. <sighs> right, for the bird then. Oh, very important, this. I've not hit it. Damn! 378 meters. Watch out. Really feel like we should have uh, birded that last one. So it was uh, Greenskeepers put me off. And John, you put her, put me off as well. <laughs> Jokes aside, I was just saying to Tommy, I think this could have, we could, we could be close today on here. Wind is in favour and just fire this into the clouds, let the wind do the rest. Tommy? I, I, dro <laughs> I dropped it in excitement. Did you see that flight? Oh, I can't wait to see this. Where is it? Oh, Tommy. That just needed a prod. <laughs> I can't get over that. <laughs> that was nuts. I managed to hit the non-existent sweet spot. <laughs> Amazing. Right, square. Might regret this decision as soon as I've hit it. Well, I feel this has got enough spin to actually land it dead and stop. But it's such an intimidating wedge. <sighs> Angry. Thought this was a, a good, good, good chance. I'm not writing this off, but John. <laughs> I was a bit too excited about that. Everyone's looking about. What's he playing for? You have no idea, John. Oh my God. Oh, that's a relief. Okay. Good. Hole six, par four. 338 metres from here. It's, uh, it's not the longest par four, but it's not the easiest. It looks easy here, but go down to where those guys are. You've got a tricky-ish uphill approach shot. So I'd take a four now. Obviously, I'd love a three, but um, might as well get ready whilst we're waiting. Ground's a bit firm, John. Not gonna lie to you, but luckily. You're ow. <laughs> Never been a DIY person, that's for sure. Not a handyman. Tell you what. When you get it, it's not that bad. When you don't, it's freaking awful. But, 105 yards, like literally, perfect. <laughs> Just before the trap. It came out like a five iron there, that one. You get many flights with this uh, hammer driver, depending on where you hit it on the face. 
two iron, five iron, occasionally a driver. <laughs> it's exciting now. Right. Well, I'm thinking hammer driver, because if you catch it, you could hit it like a pitching wedge as well. Uh, I'm going to go this again. I hate it, but this is my most hated club in the bag. I just can't, I can't hit it. It's like no bounce, no grind, burger flipper. Come on. That was really bad. Hello? <laughs> Bloody hell. I hate that wedge so much. So we just need to get this on, it's gonna feed its way in. I don't know if you saw how that was sat, but it was sat like it was on a tee. So I had to kind of like <laughs> scoop it up. Right, John, this is for everyone back in Nottingham. I do miss you sometimes. Left to right. John. That is just a terrible... <sighs> I was just saying to Tommy that we've barely hit the vast iron so far. It's either because I've been close enough to chunk it with a square wedge or I needed a two iron again. 171 into. I've got the club straight away. That's five iron. Right. Come on. It's a tough hole today as well, this. It's gone so high. It's got to go, I think. Is that on? Tom, is that on? There's something left of it. It's long or short, it just went up like a balloon. <laughs> Look at this, guys, I'm well chuffed with this result. <laughs> Bloody hell. Look at that. Pitch mark, five iron. <laughs> a dream. Great John this. Seriously now this is important because this is like a chance to get back to level I think with what's coming up. Big left to righter. Downhill. Oh! Didn't move as much as I thought it would. That's annoying. That would have been so good to get, I've got that. Oh well. Still doable. We could eagle this and bird of the last. <laughs> yeah. With these clubs you're having a joke. So we've had, the hammer's had a lot of the tea, hasn't it, up to yet. It's time for some low spin. We've got a par five, it's pretty long. It's time for the hollow point bullet. And as you remember, all the weight is illegal, all the weight is now taken out here. Pushing the weight forward so it's just pure, low spinning goodness. This is a Pat Penn's club, remember? Forgot about that. One of many of his clubs. Brilliant Pat. Miss Pat. So eighth, par five. From here it's 483 metres. If I can get this up in the air, the low spin just gonna it's just gonna bound down there. Ah! Let's do it. Ugh. 
The heel saved that. That was a terrible swing. We're in the, in play. Ah, oh, I could have gone so much further. It's okay. It's okay. He'll do. He'll do. As George Lucas would say. No one else is going to get that joke, are they? Right. Happy, happy, happy with this. Happy with this. Still got 250 yards. I reckon I could get that two iron there, you know. Potentially. Man, this would be so good. Favour that left side, everything rolls towards the right. Be good. Be good. Be good. Sit down now. Sit. Get in. Oh, it's rolled off. How hard is that green? Right, where did that roll to? Look at this. It's so hard to stop it. I tried to like hit one low into it, which is probably not the best play. Always end up here. So I think I've got the wrong club here. This is where that square wedge would have been fantastic, but we're going to just move it there. I do feel like these are what have what let me down. The fact that I can't get on with the wedges. A few good opportunities. One hole left, finish on a bird, that'd be fantastic. Right then. Well, the ninth. What we got? 369 meters from here. We need a bird. Finish two over after that, I'd be pretty happy with those bag of monstrosities <laughs> but I reckon it could have been if I had some sort of short game capabilities and could get on with those wedges we'd have actually got a decent score going we've had many opportunities into the greens and just sucked really that's all I can say sucked so there's one club in here I think we've hit everything that we haven't hit The ants are running scared. <laughs> um, yeah, it's the the glass driver to finish us off. I remember loving this actually, didn't I? I'm pretty sure in the out of bounds. I love the feel of it. It's like jelly, which I know doesn't sound like a good thing, but it's very soft. It still went pretty well. Um, I'm interested to see. We, no pressure, mate, but we need a birdie. C4 crossfire. Oh, it's Pat Pending special again. Cracky me, most underrated engineer on the planet. Glass driver, we need you to perform for us, please. <laughs> Lost my balance then, but that's a bottomy straight one. That'll work. What happened there? <laughs> That will definitely do it. What way to finish with the arguably the worst club in the bag? And there's no argue, arguably it with you. Right, come on. Let's play a shot with this, that'd be lovely. That's one of the better ones today, and it's still crap. <laughs> it's alright. It's not that bad. I don't like you, Pat. Well, mate. Pretty happy with that, to be honest. But it's left. Uh, it's a bad shot in in terms of the location. <laughs> Fast downhill. Um, for the bird to finish, 
It's been uh, interesting. Very out of boundsy, hasn't it? A lot of unusual activity. Straight at it, if it misses, it's John's fault. Sounds like a deal to me. <laughs> Been a bit like that, hasn't it? Been a bit like that today. Oh, well guys, I enjoyed that, I think. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think, yeah, great. So remember, if you like this sort of stuff, you give us a thumbs up because it's vitally important. We need 55,000 th thumbs up <laughs> to do that again. Um, no, joke aside, uh, appreciate you always as watching. If you're not a part of Team Al, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Remember, most of the clubs that we've used today, we've done full Out of Bounds videos on. So I've tagged the playlist below and the cards in the corner somewhere. Don't know where YouTube decides to put them. Here, I think. So check them out. More info on those. We have a bit of a laugh, obviously, with the Out of Bounds stuff. So just want to say thanks again. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And Twitch. I'm streaming on Twitch. <laughs>